Remember Santa Claus Conquers the Martians and that other weird Santa Claus movie? Well, I'm willing to bet not many of you have heard about Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. I was floored when I found this VHS tape and I just had to know what it was all about. So, let's take a look. The movie begins with elves at the North Pole singing and dancing. One of the elves looks outside and sees the reindeer have returned. That doesn't look like the North Pole. Then we cut to Santa, who has been grounded in Florida and stuck in treacherous, deadly sand. A whole inch of it. There's a montage of kids wrestling, playing baseball, jump roping, skateboarding, and so on. But what's this kid doing? Jumping off a roof with an umbrella? Why would the filmmakers include this in the film? A kid might try this and get hurt. Santa calls for the kids to bring him help, telepathically I guess, and they all join him on the beach. Then there's a really random scene where Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn show up and hide in the bushes talking about Santa being stuck. No, they have nothing to do with the rest of the movie. The other kids bring different animals to try and pull the sleigh out of the sand. One little girl brings a gorilla to help, which is clearly just some asshole in a costume. Where did the girl get a gorilla? Did she break into a fucking zoo? Next they're trying out a pig, since pigs are known to dig sleighs out of sand. The pig does not sound happy. Then the kids get help from the ice cream bunny. They ride on a fire engine through an actual amusement park. You can just barely see some kid waving at the camera. The kids sing a horrible song, but even if it was good, it wouldn't matter because it's overpowered by the blaring sound of a siren. Here we see the fire engine coming to rescue Santa, shot through Santa's arm. Yeah, it's almost as clever as that shot through Mrs. Robinson's legs in The Graduate. They pick up Santa on the fire truck and drive off into the woods and that's the last we ever see of them. What are they going to do back there? And what happened to the sleigh? Is Santa supposed to fly around the world and deliver presents in the fire truck now? Who knows? And what about the ice cream bunny? He doesn't drive an ice cream truck, it's a fire truck. He doesn't eat ice cream. And you know what? There's no ice cream anywhere in the fucking movie! Then we see some girl wandering around the theme park. They show a bunch of rides, probably an advertisement because this was filmed at some old theme park called Pirate's World which no longer exists. I wonder if anyone ever went flying off one of those speeding horses. The girl goes into some attraction to see the story of Thumbelina and then uh oh, it looks like we're watching another movie now. How do you like that? A bonus film. What a treat. Sometimes having another story within a story can work well, like in Disney's Alice in Wonderland, where Tweedledee and Tweedledum tell the story about the walrus and the carpenter. There it's done right. It's short and doesn't detract from the main feature. But this Thumbelina side story is longer than the Santa Claus section of the movie. The real title this should have been The Life and Times of Thumbelina, guest starring Santa and some bunny that has nothing to do with ice cream. Thumbelina meets all sorts of LSD-inspired creatures. Weird frogs, freaky birds, large moles, and so on. The frog's mother tries to get her to marry her son. Isn't she beautiful? Ribbit, ribbit. Thumbelina tries to escape from the evil frog. She meets up with old Mole Man, and he tries to marry her too. Go ahead, my dear. There is certainly nothing to fear from Mr. Digger. It goes further, where the old mole tries to convince Thumbelina to go to his place alone. It's very creepy and disturbing. Why don't you come with me, and I will show you some very interesting things. Eventually, she escapes on some giant bird who takes her to a land of flower people. It's a big drug trip. Meanwhile, this whole time, Santa Claus and the ice cream bunny are doing God knows what in the bushes. So, what can I say? If you ever wanted to see Santa with a guy in a gorilla costume, crazy frogs, psychotic pigs, perverted moles, kids jumping off roofs with giant umbrellas, random out-of-the-place shots of Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer, and an ice cream bunny that was probably meant to be called the Easter Bunny, then this is the movie for you. Have a Merry Christmas.